Hello and welcome back to Family Investment. Today I want to speak about potential oil rebound. Okay, I've looked at every other sector. Sectors are recovering. Some sectors have just steadily moving across. But the oil has been taking a bit of a beating since the sell-off back in March and they've not really recovered. And I'm starting to see a bit of a trickle change. Okay, before I start, we really want to speak about is oil really dead? With the governments, with the incentive of electric vehicles and solar power panel, green energy, ESG, traveling, seems that uh, from the media, it looks like all is dead. But technically thinking, can the whole growing population of the world really live without oil? Can we just turn off and say, we don't need oil, we don't need plastics, we don't need air jet fuel, we don't need uh, you know, fuel for the driving, your transportation of your boats from one end to the Do you really think that will happen? It's not gonna happen overnight. Okay, it's not going to happen for the next 10 years. Perhaps in 2040, 2050, things will slowly decay, slowly die down. But with the opening of recovery of the economy, with people starting to fly again, there will be a demand. As you can see the data on Bloomberg, that the oil glut or the surplus oil is starting to decline back in January and February. But everything stalled and stopped because of the scare of COVID wave 3. Okay, in Europe, we seem to be able to slow it down. In US, it's starting to slow down with the great rollout of the vaccine. But unfortunately, in areas like Brazil and India, they've escalated and wave three seems to be an issue. So there's still a bit of concern and regulations where planes can fly. But as an investor, a long-term investor, you want to invest in oil? No, it's dead. You should be investing in green energy stock, growth stocks. But as a short-term swing trade play for recovery play for 2021, Oil seems to have great upside. So you are here to hear if there's potential to boost your yield a bit, not for long term, but for swing trade. So swing trade is extremely volatile, it's extremely dangerous. If you get wrong, you do lose money. But I just want to present to case and I'll let you do your own research and make up your own mind what you want to do with your uh, account. Okay, so oil has uh, sunk but all the way to $61 per barrel. Potentially, they might try an upside again. So with all opening up trade, with the GDP inc increasing, you know, we're all recovering. We're all recovering for the economy. GDP increasing. The oil might be trying all-time high at 66, which is about 8% upside, okay? If they do break through and the oil demand is moving on and, you know, we're using up more than what we need, there's lack of supply, then potentially we should see $70 to $75 barrel oil for at least from middle till the end of the year, summer when we're opening up. So we're looking about 15% upside at 70 to 75. But I'm not playing oil, I'm not an oil trader. I look at uh, ETFs for oil, okay? There's two interesting ETFs which I speak about. I'm already in the trade, but I'm a bit of a negative deficit. I might double down to take this opportunity, okay? So XLE, XLE is ETF for oil major operators like uh, Shell, BP, Exxon, Chevron, okay? Collection, they're sitting at 47 just now, okay? The last time they hit high a couple of weeks ago was 53. So we have an upset of about 12%. Okay, if they do break through and the demands open up and we start traveling again, we might see a good upside of about 61 to 68. So we're talking about 38% upside. 38% is good enough for me for a swing trade from 47 as we stand just now. Okay, the next one, a bit higher risk because it's service oil company, depending if the major operator will use them like Baker Huge, Slumberger. Okay, OIH, that's the ticker. They're setting at 175, okay? 175, the last time they were high at 224. So they're down about 28% from the last high a couple of weeks ago. And if they do break through and the demand goes and they start employing people, start going offshore, start drilling again, campaign starts kicking off to the end of it to look for exploration for more oil because you know we haven't really explored in 2020, 2021 because we've been sacking lots of people, remember? We might see a 271 upside of 54% OIH. High risk. High reward, but now we are right at the bottom of where we were last time, potentially we might jump back up. Okay, so we're looking good there, perhaps 54% upside. Next one, major oil operator, I'm only looking at one, Chevron, okay? The world best major oil operator apart from Total. Chevron I'm looking at, 102. They might try their last high of 111, which is again, 8% upside. Very good swing trade, 8% upside, and potential up to 120 if oil breaks through 70. So we're talking about 17% upside. Is that good enough for you to swing trade? You make up your mind. 
And then if you like most, my favorite high risk oil company it used to be called Prima Oil PMO, but there was a spec merger and now they're called Harbor Energy. I don't know where they got the name. Take a HBR, you can't find Yahoo Finance, but you can find it on your respective broker. HBR, sitting at 17, okay? 17 oil at 61. Potential upside, if they try the last all time high at 31, that's about 82% upside, okay? Or they might hit 51. The next, if oil breaks through 70, 75, you might potentially see a 300% upside. So this is where I see for this five charts, which I've just shown. Oil might be dead for long-term investors, but for 2021 yield, there might be potential swing trade opportunities for you to gain because I think oil will be an avenue where we can see a swing trade because more, when VIX goes really low, below 18, when everything goes in cruise control mode, good earnings, everything returned back to normal, oil is a sector that might have still some outside travel, casino and all, they're all already on the rebound. You know, all this uh, value stocks, rotations, they're all already on the rebound. It's no, if you get it now, your upside is not as much. But for oil, the upside is higher than the risk just now. So this is where I'm looking at. Swing trade. And the oil swing trade may sit for two, three, four, five weeks. Who knows? But I'm looking for an upside yield here because risk reward ratio looks very appetizing just now. But for you guys, please do your own research. Please don't just listen to me. Make sure that your portfolio has enough room for additional risk. If you're already high risk with spec plays, if uh, high growth stocks plays, maybe perhaps you shouldn't go in. But if you dare go extra money that you want to risk play, then this might be the one for you. But end of the day, oil is dead for now, but oil is on the rebound with opening up and growth GDP. All right, thank you very much. I hope you like this video. Please click like and subscribe. Hopefully you see more videos like this in future. Take care, have a good day, and invest safely. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Please press the bell button, ding dong. Finally, watch the recent video up here. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.